I've been using Notion for over a year and it's been the app that I have been using for almost everything. But there were some things that nobody told me when I started and I wish that somebody told them back then when I was starting because that would have given me much more perspective and I would have prevented feeling bad for spending too long creating my systems. So here are six things that every Notion power user knows but that we as beginners <laughs> don't. First is spending a lot of time creating your system is totally okay. The real reason is, if you're a nerd like me, creating your system from scratch is amazing. A whole new world of possibilities has just opened in front of your eyes. And this for me was a very exciting moment. And remember, you will just live this moment once. So cheer the moment, enjoy it, have fun with it, don't rush it. And now the productive reason is that it is a time investment in the end. Because this time that you're gonna be spending creating your own system is time that then you're going to be saving in the future. Because if your system is really productive, it's going to save you a ton of time. For example, I have calculated on average how much time I'm saving every week since I've been using the Notion Academy system and I'm saving around five hours every week. And thanks to it, it also took me four months to earn a full-time income being a content creator. So all the time that I spent beforehand developing my system, which was a lot, has paid off over time. But more about the business side later in the video. The second is that aesthetics matter. If we're going to be using Notion as a task manager, project manager, chances are that we're going to be spending a lot of time inside of the app. So the same way that we go to Ikea, we find new furniture, we spend the whole day there shopping for stuff so we can make our living place pleasant, beautiful, cozy and everything. This also happens with the tools that we are using daily because if we don't feel at home whenever we are using them, we're not gonna use them. So don't think that if you spend a lot of time making just your Notion pretty, that is a waste of time. Because yes, it can seem like it because your life is not moving forward, but you're also investing in your future well-being. The third one is that we can build websites with Notion. If you didn't know this, probably now you are shocked. But yeah, there are new services such as Super.so, Fruition, or Potion that will allow you to create real websites from Notion pages. And the way that they work is that they're gonna take one Notion page that you share with the app, they're gonna pass it through a CSS code, and they're just gonna make it look beautiful. Of course, I have oversimplified a lot the work of the developers from those companies because there is much more features such as connecting real domains, adding beautiful URLs, password protecting the pages even, and many more other features. In fact, I'm thinking of making a video about one of these services. So let me know in the comments below if that would be interesting for you. And the reason why I wish I would have known this from the get-go is because probably I wouldn't have used WordPress because it's a little bit more difficult to build my website and I would have just used Notion. The fourth one, and this is a little bit more technical, is to always use link databases. I have already spoken about this, but I find this very, very important. If you don't know what a link database is, it's basically a mirror image of what I call a core database. So we can have that data visualized in any other way elsewhere. So why I don't recommend to use core databases? Because if we use them, we will lose the possibility to just duplicate that database because we want to keep those filters and just put them elsewhere. Because what we are going to be doing is actually duplicating all the entries within the database. So we will have two databases. But if we do this with a link database, we will not have duplicate entries. We will just have two link databases. And another reason is the risk of deleting data. Because if we delete a core database and we forget to use common set, we will lose all the data. But if that happens with a link database, we will just have to replicate the link database. And that is it. We will not lose any data. So my recommendation is that we always create a backend page I call mine backend, where is where I'm going to store all the databases, all the core databases, and I'm never gonna go there, never gonna touch them. And everything in my system is always linked databases, much more safe. The fifth one is that you can create businesses around Notion, and of course, earn money. Because Notion is a productivity tool, and productivity is something very precious, because it's all about get the most out of our time working. And this can mean more free time and a better and happy life. So people are willing to pay a lot of money to other people or other things that can make their life more productive. 
because they normally do this by saving time, and time is the world's scarciest resource. Therefore, real businesses can be built all around Notion. In fact, all my income right now comes from Notion-related products or services. As an idea, you can make money by selling templates. I'm using Gumroad for that. Selling courses, teaching people your systems and how you manage Notion to save time by coaching or even by business consulting. So these are, in fact, the four things that I'm currently doing. And finally, the sixth thing is to use keyboard shortcuts. Whenever we are starting, we don't know the shortcuts. And even if people like me is the first thing that I go look up to, which are the shortcuts of the app, but most people don't. And shortcuts are a great time saver because yes, our systems may save us a lot of time, but let's use also the shortcuts to save even more. And these are the shortcuts that I use all the time. For duplicating blocks, I use Command D, and normally when I want to duplicate a block, I want to move it also to another place in my system. So I can move that newly duplicated block using Command Shift P. So for example, if I want to duplicate this one, I will select Command T, Command D, sorry, then Command Shift P, right here in the page. Let's see, Daniel HQ, enter, and that's it. Everything with the keyboard. We can also duplicate stuff holding the Alt key and dragging these six dots over here. And that is a better way to duplicate. Now, again, I use this one all the time is to change the formatting using the shortcuts Command Alt and any of the numbers. The first is for heading one, heading two, heading three, checkbox, bullet point, number list, toggle, code, page, and that is it. And finally, to change the text color using slash. Normally, I'm a very visual person, so I like to change the color of things. And before, I was always selecting everything and then going here, selecting the color. So this was very long, but now I realize that I can just write slash orange, for example, and that's it. And I'm gonna change the color like this. If I want to change the background, back orange, and that's it. So it's so much faster. Well, I hope that you have discovered something new in this video, but as you can see, this app has infinite applications. So if you are just starting and you're wondering where to start, I'm gonna link over here, my video for beginners that tell you what I will build in the first day of using Notion. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.